Why do some people develop allergies? An allergy occurs when our immune system mistakenly identifies a normal innocuous substance as a harmful intruder. Hence, it produces antibodies to kill the intruder and in the process gives rise to itching, runny nose, watery eyes, etc. Thus causing an allergy. Hmm. Now, according to hygiene hypothesis, if children are kept in extremely clean environments and not exposed to germs at all, then their immune system fails to develop properly and instead starts attacking harmless substances, thus causing an allergy. Mm. Huh? Are treadmills bad for us? Firstly, on a treadmill, Instead of our leg muscles, the propulsion belt propels our body forward. Hence, it limits our muscle development. Secondly, as compared to treadmills, nature provides us uneven surfaces and turns, thus allowing our leg muscles to learn and adapt. Thirdly, most treadmills don't have a downward incline feature. Hence, the runners don't get the benefit of jogging downhills. Lastly, running on treadmills can be extremely boring as compared to running outdoors. Hmm. What is the purpose of eyebrows? Firstly, our arch-shaped eyebrows help channel our sweat as well as the rain towards the sides of our faces, thus protecting our eyes. Secondly, eyebrows help us express a wide range of emotions like surprise, anger, etc. Lastly, eyebrows also help in recognizing faces. In a study, scientists found that participants huh? had a tougher time recognizing people's faces when their eyebrows huh? were erased. Hmm. Do animals really dream? Humans dream during their rapid eye movement stage of sleep or REM sleep. In a research, the brain activity pattern of a rat running for some cheese and the one during its REM sleep was found to be similar. Moreover, a singing bird's brain activity while singing and while in its REM sleep also showed similarity, thus indicating that perhaps animals dream of their daily activities. Hmm. What exactly is blood rain? Firstly, around Sahara Desert, brownish dust and sand carried away by storms mixes with water droplets in the clouds, thus giving the rain its brownish red color. Secondly, in Kerala, red spores of Trentipolelia annulata algae get carried away by winds and mix with the falling water droplets, thus causing blood rain. Hmm. Lastly, in Zamora, Hematococcus pluvialis algae actually get caught in the rain clouds. As a result, they get stressed and produce a red pigment called astaxanthin, thus causing blood rain. Hmm. What is claustrophobia? I think, I think, I think it is the name of a new burger. <laughs> oh, um, some. <laughs> Claustrophobia is an anxiety disorder. It is an intense fear of confined or enclosed spaces. Symptoms of claustrophobia may include shortness of breath, faster heartbeat, sweating, etc. Mm. Some researchers believe that a defect in one of our genes may be the cause of our claustrophobia. Hmm. It is also believed that if one of our parents has claustrophobia, then we are more likely to have it. Mm. Finally, it is also believed that our fear of enclosed spaces may be stemming from a traumatic childhood event like being stuck in an elevator. Hmm. What is cholesterol huh? in the human body? No idea, but Amsum does not have any cholesterol. Oh, Amsum. <laughs> Cholesterol is a waxy, fat-like substance. It is present in all the cells of our body. Cholesterol helps in building cells, vitamins, as well as hormones. Our liver makes all the cholesterol needed by us. But sometimes, our eating habits can force our liver to make more cholesterol than necessary. It combines with other substances and forms a thick, hard deposit on the inside of our arteries. As a result, our arteries become narrow, increasing the risk of heart disease or stroke. Hmm. How does a jellyfish sting? No big deal. Even Om Sum can sting. Oh, Om Sum. 
Jellyfish's tentacles contain thousands of venom containing stinging cells called conidocytes. Conidocytes are basically small compartments which house many needle-like stingers. The stinger lies coiled under high osmotic pressure. Now, when there is a trigger due to an external force, the lid of the stinging cell pops open and seawater rushes in. This forces the mini needle like stinger to shoot out, penetrate, and finally inject venom into the victim. This discharge can occur in less than one millionth of a second. This is how a jellyfish stings. Hmm. How can huh? parrots talk? Are you kidding me? Parrots can't talk. Huh? Oh, um, some. According to a research, parrots' brains have an additional structure called shells, or outer rings which surround those areas which control vocal learning. These shells are believed to help parrots to be really good at copying sounds, thus giving them the ability to talk like humans. Hmm. In addition to this, parrots are highly sociable animals. As they crave interaction as well as attention, they start mimicking us to become a part of our flock. Hmm. Do the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans mix? Absolutely not. I have told them not to. Oh. Um, some. The answer is density. Density huh? is the measure of mass present per unit volume. Uh. Lesser the density, lighter <laughs> will be the object. Hmm. The Atlantic Ocean contains much more salt, as a result of which it is much denser. On the other hand, the water in the Pacific Ocean is less salty, hence its density is much lower. Now, this difference in density due to salinity creates a kind of barrier called a halocline between the two oceans. As a result, both the oceans don't mix that easily. Hmm. Why huh? does soap make bubbles? No big deal. Om Sum's bubbles are the biggest. Oh, Om Sum. The answer lies in the chemistry of soap molecules. The two opposite ends of the soap molecules behave extremely differently. On one hand, there is an end known as the hydrophilic end. This end attracts water. While on the other hand, there is an end known as the hydrophobic end. This end repels water. Hmm. Now when we mix soap with water, these opposite ends of the soap molecules sandwich a thin layer of water between themselves. This basically leads to the creation of a thin film that contains a small amount of air. And this is what we call a bubble. Hmm. Why do we love junk food? No junk food. Only healthy food for Om Sum. Oh, Om Sum. We love junk food because manufacturers design it to activate our brain's reward system. They create the perfect combination of salt, sugar, spices, etc. <laughs> this excites our taste buds, thus activating our brain's reward system, making us feel good. Also, junk food doesn't have enough water and fiber. It doesn't fill us. So, we keep on eating, and thus we end up consuming more calories leading to obesity, diabetes, huh? etc. Hmm.